tales from the crypt. Coleman's calamity. Oh, hi there, fright fan fiends. How do you like my rancid rendering? Not bad for an amateur. How hopefully I'll give you inkling of what tonight's fun sky photo play is about. Put it because long before my eerie offerings appeared on your silver screen, they were a magazine in the magazine called Get a lot, load of this, Tales from the Crypt, tonight. Let's take a behind-the-scenes look at a struggling artist named Jim Coleman, who one day got a little too drawn into his work. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. Each day, though, through my window, I watch her as she passes by. I watch her as she passes by. I say to myself, you're such a lucky guy. You're such a lucky guy to have a girl like her. Truly a dream come true. Out of all the fellows in the world, she belongs to you. But just my imagination, but just my imagination running away with my, running away with me. It was just my imagination running away with me, man. Same to you, Rudy. Jim, how are you doing on corpse eaters from Pluto? Tick, 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 tick. Aren't you done yet, Coleman? I figured you were halfway through this disembowelment by now. Hey, Tom, Bob. I got another story, dear. The owner of a miniature golf course kills his wife, pops her mouth open, and uses her for the 19th, 16th hole. Better still, some old lady is cleaning out a refrigerator and comes across a long dead boyfriend. A doctor has to take her out, take out his own appendix. A butcher's gonna eat his own short ribs. Give it a rest, will you guys? I'm trying to concentrate. Do it on your own time. We have a magazine to put out there. What's so hard about drawing corpse eaters? Anyhow, I don't know that there's something tricky about this. I can't seem to get me right, right. Oh no. Is that my phone? That is my phone. Hi, honey. Don't hi, honey, me, you pompous jackass. This Saturday, when you, you plan, when do you plan to come, coming home? I've got to finish this edition. Bull snot. You can't fool me, Mr. Me, Mr. Weekend Workaholic. You've got a blonde bimbo stashed away someplace. And when I find her, I'm going to rip her cute little powdered face off. Not enough that you got to draw those dumb cartoons instead of getting a real job. But you can't even keep your paws off the secretaries. It's goddamn office, honey. The secretaries are off today. I should have known that. A disaster in this marriage. I should have known what a disaster this marriage would be. To think I would give, give the best years of my life, and for what? A stingy two-timing loser. You can't even give me children, you little wimp. The doctor says that if they can be either one of us, I'm taking the pills, you mean. These pills, potency plus. The male answer to infertility. Do we have to talk about this now? You forgot to take your pill. This morning, love nuts. When I counted them, there were 24 instead of 23. You counted the pills? Down right, down right. You want to kickstart Mildred Jr. here? You have to take a pill every single morning. They're experimental. They, 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 they haven't been approved by FDA. I don't know what the side effects, about the side effects, what side effects. It's like, it's like making my, my imagination, it, it's like, it's making my imagination fertile. I think it's affecting my brain good. Maybe you'll do a decent day's work for a change. Maybe you need a nude husband. You like that? Maybe. You wouldn't, would you? Give you a chance to prod some little cutie from the typing pool. Well, forget it, Jimbo. You're stuck with me until death do us part. What a monster, what a monster. Damn it, Jesus. Did I scare you, lady? Do you work here? No, madam. I just haven't... On by. Listen, could you take a look at the uh, in the back? Maybe it'll blow a fuse or something. It blew a fuse or something. No use, madam. The whole box is snorted out. You really looked looked hey, male. I didn't even. I didn't. I did it. Don't don't like it as much when lights are on. Are you going to hurt me? Yes, madam. Afraid so. Now look. Are you making a big mistake? You're making a big mistake, here, pal. Oh, why is that? Because I'm a cop. Where you get, where do you get that? A dime store? Oh, the bruise, this shit, this shit, it's gonna cost you, babe. 
Laundry done, laundry done. Oh, my God, behind you, lady. If you think I'm going to fall for that. No, that's the oldest trick in the book. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, that's right up your alley, second man. you got everything. Yeah, yeah, the head's in the ba- bag. Let him get out of here. All right, ready? What about the lunch? Come on, watch your back. Yeah, okay, coming through. Yeah, okay, coming through, Jesus. I didn't know what it is. Let, let's get this straight. A monster emerged from the, from the washing machine, the gobbled up the assistant. That's right, sir. You left the premises after it spat the hell out, head out. Well, actually, hey, you better have had a uniform cleaned and pressed by tomorrow morning. The captain wants to have a word with you. I'm a cop, Phil. I don't drink off duty. I don't make up crazy stories. Neither did the man who saw a two-headed orgy last week on the housewife who found a dinosaur in a Volkswagen. That's real, Phil. Honest. I have it in your, I have it your way. But if it was a monster, I've got one thing to say about it. He's got one hell of an overbite. Hey, Harris. Oh, Laurie. Hey, Laurie. A monster with an overbite? A two-headed orgy. A dinosaur in a Volkswagen. A dinosaur in a Volkswagen? Jim Coleman. Hey, you're going to pay for those. I got it. I got it. So we do a story about a rabid dog. See? But from the dog's point of view, we're foaming, dribbling about around the margins of little fleas jumping off the page. Ah, tales of the crypt, Jim Coleman. Hi, honey. Uh, yeah, I'm still working. Yes, yes, I think I took the pill. Oh, no, the secretaries have all gone home. Honey, you don't, you know, I wouldn't, have, I wouldn't do that. Oh no, honey, no, honey. Could you give me a break, Mildred? Give you a break? I'll give you a break. A break your neck, you goddamn idiot. Just wait till you get home, you moron. Hell, hell with it. I'm sorry to start you, Mr. Coleman. If he, if you're the girl from the laundry mat, what the hell are you doing in my car? My name is Laurel. Phillips, I'm a policewoman. Wanted to talk to you in private. I locked this thing. How did you get in? I locked this thing. How did you get in? You seen in the paper, Jim? I was there. I saw that thing with my own eyes. What's your point? There's been a rash of monster sightings in the past month. All different. All horrible. They're all... There are these are the police sketches from the eyewitnesses' descriptions. They're all recent tales from the crypt, cryptid comic book. Joined by you, see any similarities? What do you think this is, this is all this means? Well, Jim, I think in some crazy way, a dreaming of your drawings are coming to life, just popping in from the twilight zone. You know that's a really weird idea. I'd like to try a simple experiment. If it doesn't work, I'll leave you alone. If it doesn't work, I'll leave you alone. Okay. What can I do? Just draw a monster, something repulsive. Coming up. <sighs> Coming up. What exactly did you expect would have happened? Have happened. What exactly do you expect to have happened? Well, somewhere, how, somewhere, a new friend is going to make a surprise guest appearance. A surprise guest appearance? All right, I've done. Nothing happened, so I guess it didn't work. Maybe, maybe it happened elsewhere. Maybe it isn't just, hasn't been spotted yet. Yeah, maybe, maybe I think I've had enough of this. Jim, give it a chance. Anyone, if anything's possible, anything? Do, no, don't. Why not? Because I don't know anything about you. Said you would make horrible drawings. Oh, okay. Tell you what, I'll give up horror. I'm getting burned out, out any, on it. Anyway, I draw romance comics. My drawings will be cute and charming that, that will make, will be so, so cute and charming that my editor will throw it fit. Of course, I might need some research, of course. I might need some research. I have to go. I'll call you for a date to let you know if any slime-faced monsters been terrorising the neighbourhood. Tell me over dinner, maybe. I'll call you. Thanks, pal. All clear, man. Let's move out. Sawyer, Fayosball, come with me, Craig. 
Take the south plank. Hey, Butch. Hey, Butch. What is it? What about me? What, is, what about you? Can I come with you? Beat it. Four eyes. We're on a dangerous mission. But I can't. Let's move, let's move out, Ben. Boy, come on, Mitch, Michael. Follow me, girl, let's go. Who knows him? Anyway, Butch, stay together, man. Butch is somebody in there. Mum says you shouldn't play in the old refrigerators. The doors could close and you could get stuck inside. You could die. Hey, Butch, hey, guys, come here. Come here. Okay, Douglas, what is it? There's somebody stuck inside there. We're going to get him out, Jeez, Jez. What a third brain. I mean it. Maybe it's a creature you know. Or wicky and slimy. Douglas, follow me. feed me. Douglas, Douglas, feed me. Douglas, ah, I remember. I found him. What's wrong with you? Jim, you're behind schedule on brain suckers from the Amazon. My heart is yearned for her lips. Her heart arms, her satin skin. Doesn't sound like brain sucking to me. Guess that I'm in Rantic Road. Building lost some weight or something. It's a long story. Well, tell me some other time. I'm late for my wife's. Not so forgiving as yours. Good night, Jim. Good night, Bob. Tales from the Crypt, Jim Coleman. Hi, Lorella. Hmm. Yeah, I was just thinking of you, too. Mum. You know, I know that this nice secluded spot. Just down the street. Great view, great food, great soft music. Yeah, sure. Just come right up. See you in five. See you in five. Nice secluded spot. Huh, Mildred? How long have you been... Have you long enough, you little creep? Are you going to meet some playgirl? Tramp, ain't you? Of course not, honey. You're the only woman in the world for me, yeah? And pigs have wings. Wait, look, you wait here, mister. I got a surprise for you in the car. I got a surprise for you in the car. Damn it. Surprise, honey, Mildred. I can explain, yeah. I can explain it to St. Peter, you two-timing twerp. What about, what's that? What's that, me? You're drawing me as a monster you don't understand. With those pills I take, those pills. When I draw something, then if I take, think about it hard enough, something happens. Arr, what in the hell is that? What, that's the sort, that's you sort of well, a flattering. Is that how you picture me, Jim? As a rancid heap of garbage? God. What an eyesore. Why do you feed it with a laxative and put it out of your misery? Take some skin lotion, zip face. Your, com- your complex could scare a practicologist. Huh? Get it out of here, you slimy, smelly pile of puss. I voc- violate, vocate, vo- ventilate you. I ventilate you. I can see you guys have a lot of catching up to do. Hi, Jim. I'm sorry I'm late. Actually, well, time is perfect. There was a sighting, was a sighting reported by some kids. Oh, well. You know how kids are, oh, no. But you don't understand me. Don't understand. What's all the noise? We're, we're decorating. We're decorating, Hildred. Oh, so tell me. Jim, are you married? Not anymore, not anymore. Well, how's that for a sappy ending? Was it a little too graphic for you? Oh, well, think next fit. Next thing you know, Jim, it's new girl pal. We're walking down and our, our eels together. I guess we learned that life imitates art after all. It's poor Mildred. She learned that death imitates art. Maybe she's not been nicer to him. She wouldn't have ended up as a monster piece.